All right. So this was uh, this was right after the final stream ended. And I said, oh, you know, I'll get a little footage before I go back to the train of the end of the protest. And I got more than I bargained for. I was out there about another hour, hour and a half. There was a lot going on. Um, people getting arrested. Not too much, though. There was clearly an order from the top not to do a lot of arrests, to do symbolic arrests, to get the rest in line. But they definitely didn't want those images. Um, and, you know, going at screaming at the delegates, blocking traffic. Um, we'll talk about it. I felt like some of the tactics were counterproductive, um, some of what was going on there. And um, the end of it, let's just say I caught a final shot. It ended not with a bang, but with a whimper. All right. And just so uh, we say for YouTube, the purpose of this is to document a historic a historically significant news event. So this is documentary uh, content here. We do not uh, specifically uh, endorse or condone necessarily everything that is seen here. That's for the YouTube people. We will let this play and then we'll be back. Uh, the last of the protests. <laughs> and uh, they've been telling people to disperse. I just, I just want people to, 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 to throughout the week, throughout the last four days, DNC, anti-Israel protesters, in many cases anti-American protesters, including those that were outside the building where the Israeli consulate is located. For now, it seems like it's coming to an end. We'll see. Keep your Hey, Russell Dobula from New Dissidents. So you had a little tussle at the beginning of the uh, protest. What was that about? No tussle. Just trying to get people to talk to me. So why why were they getting so angry at you? You'd have to ask them. You'd have to talk to them. I'm sure they have their reasons. But, you know, we're here, just like you, to talk to people, get their opinions, their thoughts. And some people don't want to do that. They want to shout, they want to shout us in the media down. It's unfortunate, but, you know, I'm used to that. No further. That's it. No further. Got you. You gotta back up. You gotta back up. You gotta back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. We don't need a mirror. Back up. Back up. We want freedom. Freedom. All these racist ass cops. We don't need a mirror. We just made an arrest of the guy you might have seen on our Rumble stream carrying the black flag. Things get a little tense out here. Throwing the guy in the paddy wagon. Pigs go home! 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 Last These are delegates from the convention are being chased down the street. They're hiding their faces. Genocide supporters. James, James, you guys feel good? You guys feel good? You guys feel good? Genocide supporters. We got protesters holding up the uh, traffic. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! So what do you think about these protesters? Back up, back up, back up. No comment? You think Kamala's going to change policy in Israel? Who's there? They're pieces of shit anyway. Kamala's spinning the tires. Oh my God. Uh, just, uh, just turned around and uh, What do you think about these protesters? 
Any thoughts about the protesters? Genocide supporter. How does it feel to be a genocide supporter? Tell the world, huh? You uh, like killing children? Is that your favorite thing? Uh, sorry. That's what you're voting for. Feet. It's Same COVID. party. It's COVID. Get tested. No, 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 girl. I've been tested. Get, get, get the fuck out my face. And what you gonna do about it? Get the fuck out my face. You're gonna kill me like I'm a child? I'm not from the fucking I'm not from the fucking You don't put anybody like that, bro. Rebby Weiss. What do you think about the protests against the delegates out here? I, I, I think about the people in Gaza who are suffering so much. And with God's help, we hope, we hope that uh, uh, Kamala will, as she said, that she feels for the people of Palestine, that she will change the policy. She will understand, just like apartheid had to be stopped, that they will stop uh, the uh, legitimization of the state of Israel, the massacre in Gaza, the mere existence that's against God. We're not allowed to kill or steal. Judaism is to serve God. I hope she will change. There will be a sea change in, in, in politics. Did, did you listen to her speech tonight? I, I was out here demonstrating as you know in the park. Do, do you feel hopeful that she will change policy? I can only pray to God. I don't, I, 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 we do as it doesn't matter to us what the situation is. We keep on till the day comes when God, with his compassion, will bring an end, hopefully speedily and peacefully to the occupation. I got to say, the police have definitely been given instructions, probably because Brandon Johnson is mayor, to try not to make a lot of arrests. Can you tell us what you feel about this? I don't give a fuck about it. Do I really give a fuck? They weren't worried about the fuck when the other two were over there getting killed. Can you just tell us how you thought you'd be first page tomorrow? Man, get the fuck away from my car. I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to be first page tomorrow. Get the fuck. I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck away from my car. What part don't you understand? Huh? You know, and you don't be famous like this, bro. Get away nice. from my car, man. You just gotta be nice. Get away from my car. You want me to be nice and get the fuck away from my car. Just say please. I don't gotta say please shit, man. Say please. I pay taxes just like you. Why the fuck I gotta say please? Let me What's your thoughts on the DNC being held in Chicago? Uh, none, of, none of it. I don't give a shit. Are you talking about the guy with the black mark? So they go live and then some people running on. Two hours? Two hours trying to do People are running out. That's all, bro. I just want to go home. That's me ignorant, man. Hey! Go, 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 go! Hey, asshole! Keep moving, fuckface! Go, go! Who said that? <laughs> hey, come on, buddy. No, your friends. Get him, get him. It's going to be all about one guy in front of a damn thing and not about Gaza and not about the fucking DNC. They're going to make this the story. Palestina! 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 Hey! Do you know that this is vehicular assault and that it's when you let the car touch up? Get out! 
You guys are causing havoc right now. Let's go. Get out. Let's go. I don't care about your video, man. It's my fucking property. You damaged it. You need a video to show for what? You want to go to prison for that? You want to go to prison for that, man? Where is this fucking cover? You can't do it right now. You have to go to the district. Sorry. Hey, I got the real zombie dust. Hey, babies, keep your hands down in Gaza. Not a spell. Not a spell, man. Give me some real zombie dust. Some really good zombie dust. It's one of the best beers in the world. <laughs> got to unmute your microphone there so that was after the end of uh, our night four live stream that was on the way home yep yep uh and yeah as a lot of people have pointed out in the chat and i agree a lot of what you saw there i would consider counterproductive this comes up a lot with um climate activists who will block traffic there have been cases where ambulances with sick people inside were not able to get to the hospital. You got to ask yourself, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you trying to help the Palestinian people or are you trying to show off? Do you, do you want to be seen more than you actually want to help? Because when you block these working guys, when you damage their cars, you didn't make a convert. You, you didn't win anybody over. Now you're going to now when this guy says, yeah, I hope the cops crack all their heads. Now you're going to call him a bigot, right? Now you're going to call him ignorant. But you, you made him look at you like that. That that's not helping. Now, in terms of like up, you know, don't get physical in terms of uh, yelling genocide at the delegates. Fair game. Fair game. Fair enough. They're actually on the field, involved, actively supporting these genocidal psychopaths. Fair game. Fair game. Yeah, and they didn't block their way down the street. No, they didn't no, touch no, no. them. They just followed. There was followed. the one guy who got overboard, and another guy who was actually a protester backed him off. Yeah, said don't. Right, exactly. Yeah, Yeah. so, yeah, okay, you want to bother them. Holding up the traffic like that, that's why I featured that. You can see the result of that. That's not. That's not the way, guys. That's not the way. Well, look, I mean, I think there's two versions of that, too. I mean, I think what these guys did, like surrounding a certain car, right, and getting up in a guy's face, right. that's obviously right. not productive and not a good thing to do. In terms of, like, as an act of civil disobedience, if you want to sit on the West Side Highway with, you know, 20 people and cause traffic and not move, I mean, I think that's civil disobedience. I think that's exerting pressure on the system. Um, you know, and, and I think that is of a different nature than like surrounding one guy's car or, or ripping the mirror off or something like that, because that's just being belligerent to a specific person, right? It's not a sit in, it's not occupying a space. Like these are all civil disobedience tactics that I think are on sure. the table. Yeah. Sure. Uh, like marching over that. the Brooklyn Bridge, right? We're going to march on the bridge. There's not going to be the, the bridge right, is not going to be right. passable this afternoon because we're marching there. That, if this causes a, a problem, well, then either join us or call your representative and tell, tell them to fix this shit. Because otherwise, the system's not going to function as normal. Like that to me is the point of protest. You shouldn't target an individual in this way because that's not that's not doing anything except making a sworn enemy out of someone who is not an enemy before you do that. Exactly. I don't think anybody could watch that footage and say, well, one more for the cause. Right. Um, in terms of what you're saying, I mean, yeah, you've got a point. Like how 
how many protests can you have that are not going to disrupt anybody's lives? Right. I mean, to a certain extent, that's the point. Visible and meaningful. Mm -hmm. You're right. But I think that leaders of these movements, you really got to think those things through. You really got to think through whether you're making more friends than enemies. And I think you got to evaluate that on a case by case basis in terms of the action that you're taking. Uh, yeah. Cause yeah. look, the Bro- the Brooklyn bridge, what you're talking about, it's going to hold people up, but if you're smart, you don't use the Brooklyn bridge anyway. And there are two other bridges in very close proximity. If there's an emergency, you could take right. the Williamsburg and you could take the Manhattan. If you got to get into Brooklyn that bad or out of Brooklyn that bad. Um, but yeah, anyway, you slice it, what they were doing with these people that didn't even strike me as you're doing it for the cause. And there was a guy on the side who said that, who said, now the story is going to be some this. asshole standing right. in front of a car. And I think he was exactly right. Like, what is that accomplishing? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Really? You're, you're doing that to show off. You're doing I mean, that I to think, show off because you want to be I, seen doing it. Yeah. And uh, look, I mean, I think at a certain point too, frustration boils over i think you know Mm -hmm. people who are out here over and over again doing this over and over again not seeing any change i think that factors into things a lot i think that causes people to lash out and i'm not saying they should um you had had plenty of delegates walking by that that i fully support oh i'm not saying it was right to do i'm just saying i think that as time goes on i think people are more likely to just lash out in frustration, not violently. And, you know, these guys were not violent, but they, that was that was not exactly civil disobedience. Right. I mean, that right. was that was surrounding a guy making his life right. hard for no right. reason. Really. Right. right. Civil disobedience is, hey, we're blocking the road today. Yeah, it's going to cause a disturbance. Whoa. That's protest. If protest doesn't cause a disturbance, then there's no point. Right. If well, we're all to, just going to play your, nice in a park somewhere out of everybody's way, what's the point? Right. That's well, why you to, march to begin with. Well, to your point, the guy who said now it's going to be about one car, I cut this part. But the next thing he said, because I was trying to keep it tight, but the next thing he said was everybody does it or nobody does it. <laughs> right. Right. Like well, yes, exactly. He was making that point. Like it's an act of civil disobedience. Otherwise, it's it's a couple of schmucks harassing a guy in a car. Exactly. And, it, and it's not productive. Exactly. I mean, I think that's perfectly said. I think that's perfectly said. It's either a mass action or it's one individual being an asshole. Right. And so right. I think that's perfectly put. I would agree with that. And then there's also it's it's interesting going out and doing this kind of on the ground reporting because, yeah, very often, look, everybody wants to get that shot. Everybody wants to get that story. Um, and yeah, you're in a lot. This is not the first time I've been in a situation where the press greatly outnumbered the protesters or the people being covered or the event being covered. I mean, by the end of the night, it's basically 60 cameramen chasing a <laughs> right, guy right, right. in a car. You know? Like, that's what it was by the end of the night. It was it was, you know, probably 90 percent press right. and 10 uh, percent activists. Please clap.